What's good, you guys? I'm walking to Target right now. I'm back in it again with another video, y'all. Another vlog. It's crazy because I feel like I haven't vlogged. Honestly, and so. Also, too, y'all, your girl got extensions. I got some tape ins. I love Target. I feel like everybody loves Target. Target is just that go to store, baby. Where you just can literally get everything. It's such a good store. I feel like you can literally get everything from Target. So everybody loves Target. But yeah, I need to get Junior some um, pants. And then I'm going to get him a new book bag. And then I need to get the kids some socks. So we're going to do that. Oh, I also want to buy like a phone tripod. Um, so I can just like start vlogging for you guys and just taking y'all along on the journey, on my daily journeys. This is the fit of the day. Today is so warm. Literally, we're in Michigan, it's normally so cold, but today is pretty warm. So I have no socks. I got my toes out today, and then I have um, no coat on, which I love. So I was looking at their electronic section. They have no freaking tripods for the phone. They have one, but it's like a desktop one. I want one that like wraps around stuff. So I get better. They, they didn't have any, so. Most likely I'm gonna go to Best Buy. And then I'm looking over here at the socks. I'm trying to see if they have any socks for the kids. And honestly, I don't see any good ones. I don't see any socks that I would like for the kids. Cause I feel like these are way too thick. I feel like it makes the kids feet sweat. I like the thinner socks. And honestly, I'm not seeing any. Or like these, I love like the church style socks. But it's dumb to get just two pairs. So I'm not seeing any socks that sucks. Or these aren't bad, maybe I'll get these. I wanted white. Honestly, I did want white, but I'm not seeing any. But honestly, these don't look bad. Or these, I wonder if I should get these. Cause I want my kids to have like the thinner socks. And then I hate freaking the ankle socks. They cringe me. So I'm like, I need at least like mid length. Y'all always go to the clearance section when you're at Target. Literally looking for some pants and a lot of them are sold out, but I'm over here in like the sports section and luckily I found some. So we got these gray ones, these are nice. Super thick. <clears throat> Y'all, they're literally playing music, so it sucks. And then I got a black pair. Good to go, baby. And Junior, you guys know Junior's five now, so he's wearing a um, size extra small. So we got these, we got the gray ones. I found him some Mario, they love, the kids love the Mario movie, so. These are cute, like a little boot cut ones. And then I got him, um, these so these look nice for like church or just like whenever these are just like a nice pair of jeans because you know whatever and this was on clearance so this is like i think this is like seven dollars so this is nice little collar shirt and then y'all i found this shirt and i'm like this really looks so cute it's a when i just found it i'm like i'm gonna get this it's like a winnie pooh shirt i love like big shirts like this it's an extra large but i found it just sitting here i'm like i'm gonna take this so i got me this but um yeah so i got him Let's see, that's three pairs of joggers. And then you got a pair of pants. That should be good. So, it freaking sucks. I can't even talk to you guys. They're literally playing music. Finally found some socks. Um, I'm gonna get these pair. Um, like I said, I want it all white. It just looks clean, you know? And then you could, that way you could just bleach the socks. So, if you're looking for a sock hat, get white socks. Cause that way they stay and look clean. You could just bleach them. So I got um, a small pair and I got a medium pair. And I found these actually in the girl section. So that worked out very well. Ezra, say hi to the vlog. Cutie mama, y'all just got her from school. I used to go to this school when I was little. And now it's a different school. It's a head start. Did you know that? <laughs> it's ugly. You want a pink car? Oh. 
it's ugly? Yeah, pink car. Oh, okay, we're gonna get pink car. Yeah, pink car. <laughs> you was funny, baby. Say it again. When I, when I try to yeah. play, I'm gonna be grabbing the first and I'm gonna be a superstar. Oh, oh, I just picked him up from school. Whoa, oh my gosh, Junior. You're gonna be a superstar? Yeah, I have to play it. Did you guys have a good day at school? Yeah, I was sad. Why? Because I missed you, kind of. Oh, I missed you. I missed you. I missed you. When I was at school, I missed you. So, Target, you guys know Target didn't have a tripod. So, I'm gonna run in here and see if they have a tripod. You guys ready? I told them they can get literally one toy each. So, yep. Mommy, I want You want to grab a cart? One toy each. Only one toy, Junior. So we are back at home, and we got baby Camilla. Hello! You want, you want to tell them what you were talking about? What were you saying? We're going to be talking about Jesus in your heart and your soul. That's right. So yeah, you guys, I picked them up. Went to Target. Wait, I just, I just, Edges in there. <laughs> so we went to Target, did a little Target run. Picked them up from school. Yep. So. Hey guys, I got a donut toy. You want to see one of my characters in there? You want to show them one of your toys? Yeah. With so I literally was looking for a um, tripod. Could not find one. So probably have to do Best Buy. Literally Target didn't have one. Five and Below didn't have one. Family Dollar didn't have one. I'm going to end out today's video with a message for you guys. So I'm actually reading in Luke. And the message is about just basically how money um, rules a lot. But we don't want money to rule us. So money can be a tool. But some people who like have money... They think like the money is everything and money is not everything. You can have money, but you still want to have a relationship with your father who is in heaven. Are you listening, Camilla? Yep. You ready to receive the message? Yep. So this talks about, it says, money has the power to take God's place in your life. It can become your master. How can you tell if you are a slave to money, right? <clears throat> so you got to ask yourself these questions. Do I think and worry about money frequently? Do I give up doing what I should do or what I like to do in order to make more money? Do I spend a great deal of time caring for my possessions? Is it hard for me to give money away? Am I in debt? So money is a hard and deceptive master. Wealth promises so much to some, security and happiness and contentment. To others, power and control. But from an eternal perspective, it has never delivered on these promises. Great fortunes can be made and lost overnight. But no amount of money can provide lasting satisfaction or eternal life, right? So when you have possessions, it's all temporary, right? Hi so, guys. And this um, this chapter in Luke, Luke 16, it talks about how Jesus tells about the rich man and the beggar. And basically, um, the rich man ended up going to hell. And the beggar ended up going to um, heaven. And um, literally, there's a scripture where it says that God will prepare a table for any of your enemies. So the person who has a lot of money and they're prideful, and they have all this money, but they're not sharing. God blesses you. You know, God blesses you uh, with financial freedom because he wants you to help others. He wants you to help your brothers and sisters in Christ. So when you get money, you're meant to um, serve God in ways. Give out, get to the needy. Help your um, family. 
um, help ministry. Just your, your money is meant to help, you know. You're supposed to get to the church. Okay, so I'm going to read you guys um, the Luke 16. This is uh, verse 9. So it says, Jesus tells about the rich man and the beggar, right? So Jesus said, there was a certain rich man who was splendidly clothed in purple and fine linen and who lived each day in a luxury. He lived, he lived each day in luxury. At his gate lay a poor man named Lazarus who was covered with sores. As Lazarus lay there longing for scrapes from the rich man's table, the dogs would come and lick his open sores. Finally, the poor man died and was carried by the angels to sit beside Abraham at the heavenly banquet. The rich man also died and was buried and he went to the place of the dead. There in torment, he saw Abraham in the far distance with Lazarus at his table. The rich man shouted, Father Abraham, have some pity. Send Lazarus, Lazarus over here to dip the tip of his tongue in water and cool my tongue. I am in anguish in these flames. But Abraham said to him, son, remember that during your lifetime, you had everything you wanted and Lazarus had nothing. Lazarus had nothing. So now he is a great chasm separating us. No one can cross over to you from here and no one can cross over from us to there. So you guys literally see how the rich man was so rich, he didn't want to share. So literally God punished him. He was like, you're going to go to hell because you weren't being shareful you know you weren't sharing your riches and people think when they have money that this, they have like that contentment and god's like where i don't i wouldn't even know where in your life because you felt like you had all this money so where was i because you didn't even you didn't even praise me or because you felt like you were good and you can see the beggar the homeless he ended up um going to heaven so literally god was like showing the rich man showing the rich man like look look what i can do you know so that just more of the story is it's harder to get to heaven than rich yeah, what Joel said. So, moral of the story. So, yeah, you guys should really read that. It was so good. Luke 16, go read that. So, that just just goes to show you that money is so temporary. Because um, you can have money, but you don't want it to be, you don't want it to be fully, like, you don't want to feel like that's all you need. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this message. Um, me going to Target. If you guys want more vlogs, comment down below. It was kind of short. Um, but I'm going to get back vlogging for you guys. Can you anything you want to say? Thank you guys for blessing your son. That's right. Okay, is that it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, God bless everyone. God bless everyone too. Um, we're going to say the, the prayer to close out this video. Um, Lord, I repent of my sins. Lord, I turn away from my sins. I believe you died on the cross for me. I believe you rose again. And I want to live eternally with you. And Lord, I want to live for you. I give my life to you. And Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus. And yeah, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, and I'm out, you guys. God bless.